Welcome to another I Know Jax. I'm Joe Talentino. Have you seen the show before? See, I Know Jax is a show about fun things to do in the greater Jacksonville area. We focus on the simple stuff in life, hanging out with friends and family, eating good food, and occasionally having a good drink or two. Now, when I grew up, I wanted to be an astronaut and travel to the moon. And look at me now. Here I am talking to you. <laughs> Life's kind of funny that way. In hindsight, I don't really think that I'd have made a great astro astronaut at all. I'm a proud nerd. I like all kinds of gadgets from computers to cell phones and video cameras and broadcast gear of all kinds. But I'm not really a scientist. I'm lacking one important trait, patience. I always go for the instant gratification, and when I say that, it sounds really bad because when the phrase instant gratification is normally used in a sentence, it's something negative. It is often used to label the satisfactions gained by impulsive behaviors, choosing now over tomorrow. And I say, what's wrong with that? I'd rather get mine now, today, rather than tomorrow. I know working towards long-term goals and deferring gratification is seen as a virtue, but does it have to be that way always? I never liked the phrase, you need to pay your dues either. Who said that? I have to side with Kid Rock because I ain't seen mine. <laughs> Seem to be more true for me despite all the dues I've paid. Now there's also another side to this coin, and that is the doomsday sounding lyric, live every day as if it's your last. What? <laughs> I like the more zen, live in the now. There you have it. If you enjoy now, isn't that instant gratification? Isn't that a virtue too? Okay, in any case, if you're looking for some instant joy and happiness, hang out with me right here on I Know Jacks because... That's what I'm all about right now. <laughs> Last week, I visited the dessert bar at Sweet Pete's downtown, and this week, I'm going back to the same building, but I'm visiting the restaurant Candy Apple Cafe and Cocktails for some instant gratification. So I'm back in the kitchen at the Candy Apple Cafe with Chef Jamie, and you're gonna make something pretty awesome for us today, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make our uh, escargot dish that we also do for happy hour, it's half size. And uh, we offer a crepe du jour every day for happy hour, and I'm gonna make a Mongolian barbecue short rib crepe. Sounds awesome, let's we'll see it. Gotta have a hot pan. Gotta have a hot pan. Gotta have a little oil. So we add our escargot. And for, for those who don't speak French, that's snails, right? Snails. That's right. That's right. They come out of the shell. Cool. Chef Jamie adds shallots, a little chopped garlic, and lets it saute and soak up the flavors for a few minutes. Meanwhile, he starts the short rib crepes. We want to keep the marbled meat. That means tenderness and flavor. A little bit of barbecue sauce. Oh, that, that looks tasty. Okay. Garlic and shallots are starting to brown. Okay. This is the fun part. Take it off the heat and hit it with some sherry. Heck yeah. Fire! And mushroom duck cell. Finely chopped mushrooms, oh, herbs. Oh, nice. What type of mushrooms are they? Um, I use oysters and shiitakes. Nice. Uh, when chanterelles are in season or other nice mushrooms, wild mushrooms, we use those. Cool. A little bit of heavy cream. Oh, yeah. Cream makes everything better. If you guys could smell this, oh my gosh. So this is a volant or a boucher, it's puff pastry. Boucher, that sounds, uh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> fancy. It's so a type of pastry. It's puff pastry, it's just a, it's a fancy French term. Cool. We're and just going to heat this in the salamander for a second. We'll yep. put a couple little guys on top. See, this is a French restaurant, so, uh, you know, presentation is like, I was going to say 90%, but that's probably wrong, but it's, it's, it's as important. It is. It is. You eat with your eyes first. Oh, absolutely. And uh, my eyes are saying yum right now. There we go. The little pesto. Oh, nice. So this is normal pesto, pine nut, olive oil, basil. Basil, pine nut. There you go. Um, 
A little salt, pepper. Garlic, Parmesan, and then uh, a little white truffle oil. Just a oh, little white bit. truffle oil, nice. And that's it, that's our happy hour escargot. And now we're gonna finish our short rib free. He adds the meat to the pan with a little bit of barbecue sauce. And I used to think crepes were pancakes. And obviously they look like them a little bit, but They're there's a big difference. Paper They're thin. so thin. Paper thin. It's a prerequisite to work in this kitchen. You have to make you have to make before a crepe. you do it. I probably would not pass that test. And then this is called the French roll. I don't know, I'm just making that this up. <laughs> this is. So happy hour, we serve about half this portion. Okay. Then he adds pickled jalapenos, baby arugula, radishes, and crunchy sweet potatoes. Order them, because they don't last long. <laughs> Next, we're visiting the bar. Today I'm at the Candy Apple Cafe with the bar manager Marlon, and Marlon's gonna make me something awesome. What's it gonna be, man? We're gonna make the uh, Golden Apple Cocktail today. It's one of our signatures here at Candy Apple. All right, Trinidad. man, let's get into it. Absolutely. Me. We're gonna start with uh, two ounces of vodka. Okay. A bar spoon of tasty. Good old fashioned apple butter. Apple Egg butter. Cow. I'm from the North Georgia mountains. For me, I know what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> it's so delicious. <laughs> it is. We're going to do half an ounce of lime juice. Gotcha. Okay. A couple dashes of orange bitters. And then finally, <laughs> some uh, half an ounce of velvet falernum. Uh, falernum is a Caribbean cocktail. It's infused with a lot of uh, herbs and spices, a little oh. bit of vanilla, just kind of rounds it out a little bit. Nice, sounds good. Lots of ice. And a fantastic hard shake. Oh yeah. You got this. You've done this once before. Couple times. <laughs> Nobody likes a lazy shake. Nobody likes a lazy shake. And it's good because you got it nice and frosty on the outside. Absolutely. Uh, it serves two purposes. You want to dilute the drink properly as well as chill it. And then to top it off, we are going to brulee, brulee. an hey, apple slice. We gotta get a torch involved here. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Brulaying a couple of slices of green apple. There. So we take sugar in the raw, brown right. sugar. Just kind of dust the apple a little bit. Get the heat on there. If you can smell this, oh my goodness. Be careful. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Come see a professional. And there you are, Man. the golden apple cocktail. Marlon also made a handcrafted cocktail called a very cherry pop. It had sarsaparilla flavored whiskey, house made cherry cordial, some lime juice and ice, an old fashioned southern flavor. Marlon describes this drink as an adult cherry coke, and he was right. The last drink was the signature drink at Candy Apple Cafe and Cocktails, the Seminole Club, named after the building. Me too. We're okay. gonna dry shake it, which means we're gonna no shake ice. it without ice before, so that we emulsify the, uh, the egg whites. Hard you shake big, as well. Big words, emulsify, that means <laughs> make it frothy. Oh yeah. yeah. You can tell that it's uh, oh, yeah, nice. mixed pretty nicely. Now we're gonna add ice. And do it all over again. So it's definitely a workout. <laughs> so if you really want to mess with Marlon, come down and order like five of these. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, at the busiest time. <laughs> I'm going to let you shake this one. Go right ahead. That's the Seminole Club. It's an old school gin based drink. That's a good start on exploring the drink menu. So Candy Apple Cafe does both French cuisine and Southern cuisine. So Chef was nice enough to make me a little chicken and a waffle to go along with the escargot and the crepes we have. This place is awesome. 
besides the drinks. They got great food. And they're located in the Seminole building right next to us, or in the same building as Sweet Pete's. So come check them out and tell them I know Jack sent you. Doesn't that look great? I just love that place so much. If you haven't been, you have to go check it out and tell them I sent you. <laughs> you know that I love craft beer and that I often visit our local craft breweries in Jacksonville, but I also enjoy a good cocktail. And that's what we're going to do next. We're going on a cocktail tour of Amelia Island. Camden Bicycle Center in St. Mary's, Georgia is your choice for excellent service. Their service staff is professionally trained and certified to work on all brands of bicycles, not just the ones they sell. Call 912-576-9696 for more info. The Dim Sum Room features traditional Cantonese noodles and barbecue. Open every day 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Hong Kong style dim sum that will touch the heart. 9041 Southside Boulevard next to the Target and Avenues Mall. Do you want to showcase your business on our show? It's a great way to reach people in Jacksonville every week. Give me a call and let's talk about what we can do for your business. Call Joe directly at 904-345-0755 or visit inojax.com forward slash advertising. We'll be right back after this. Ponte Vedra Golf Carts has a fleet of new and used American-made street legal golf carts. We've been selling golf carts for over 25 years. Ponte Vedra Golf Carts has two convenient locations to serve you. Call 904-285-9901 and get yours today. I always enjoy visiting Fernandina Beach. I often go there in the summer. I actually didn't know that they had such an excellent cocktail tour that takes you to so many great and unique places. Check this out. We met our tour guides Tara and Marisol and the rest of our group at Ola Cuban Cafe in downtown Fernandina. All of us were excited about going on a mixology tour. Our first stop was Dog Star Tavern right across the street. Our bartender Austin made a crushed blueberry basil drink. It was one of my favorite drinks this evening. So we're on the tour and stop number one was Dog Star and I'm having what they call, well I'm calling it Austin Special. Next we headed over to the Palace Saloon. We were told that our bartender Johnny has an unusual day job. He's the vice mayor in Fernandina and he made a kick-ass version of a Manhattan. We're at the Green Turtle and we're gonna have some Green Turtle Punch. So the Green Turtle Punch. Is it a secret or you have to kill me if you tell me what it is? <laughs> you need 30, right? on the Amelia Island Tasting Tours Mixology Tour was the Crab Trap, and this place is awesome. It was a great evening and we got to see a lot of Fernandina. Check out my website at iknowjacks.com for more details about the Mixology Tour on Amelia Island, and when you call, make sure to tell them that Joe from I Know Jax sent you. Hey guys, my name is Miguel Gallardo, goalkeeper for the Armada FC, and you're watching I Know Jax. Okay, you know how I say cork, but Chris Chislett, who's British, says it, well, let's just say differently. 
You know how the Brits just can't put the R in the right place? Sometimes they skip over it completely, and other times they push one in where it doesn't belong, like Lisa and Betsy went to school. <laughs> well, my wife, who studied languages, tells me that that's called an intrusive R. Well, that's exactly what it is, intrusive. <laughs> my dictionary defines it as apt to intrude, coming without invitation or welcome. Well, I'm sorry, Chris. Just keep your R's in check and we're good to go. Okay, let's pop the cork already. I'm with my buddy Chris Chislett, the wine guy, and today I've got a question for you, man. Go on. What the heck am I supposed to do with this cork when the when the waiter leaves it with me? How do you mean? How well, do you he, mean? He why, why should you want to do something? With I, well, I, I, well, it's like I've seen in the movies where they, right. oh, yep. you know, and we know that's bad, right? It, it doesn't make we sense know that's bad. at all, and it seems kind yeah. of pretentious too. Yeah, I mean, so smelling the cork is bad. It's like one of your shirts. It's very, very bad. <laughs> All right, so we should never smell the cork. We should never okay, smell the cork. This is all right. It's I know, this one's okay. Black. I'm, I'm, I'm like, subdued. You, know, you didn't uh, like that yellow shirt, did you? No, it's bloody awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we should have a volume control I know, right? on it. It was up to 11. So don't um, smell the cork. No, we know to never smell the cork. So, yeah. Why are they giving it to me? Exactly. What am I well, supposed to do with it? It's more of a um, historical thing. So it's a really throwback. Is okay. A throwback. I always say kind of back in the day. All right, back, back in, the, in day, the day. Which means I have no idea when they started doing this. But back in the I day. I would say the 70s. No, no, it's oh, it's maybe so further. Yeah, it could have been like okay. 18, 17. Maybe. Um, yeah, so it used to be, you know, guys, um, wine was fairly easy to clone. They would just take the label off and put in a. Oh, so you they know, were forfeiting. Take like the Boone's Farm gotcha. back in the day. Back in the day. And, and put a Chateau Petrus label on it. Kind gotcha. of thing. So. So the idea is, you can see with this one, is, you know, we've got Wente, Wente, Wente vineyards, Wente. Wente vineyards. We know we're not getting Boone's Farm. Right. So don't diss on Boone Farm, though, man. I know, man. They don't, have a, <laughs> they don't even have a court. They have that's, a, that's that is a true. Top. Yeah. I need to find some things. I know. you got to find another. Yeah. yeah. So that another winery to pick on. Yeah. <laughs> so, the so, yeah. Arby's of wine. So, that, so, that is the, uh, so, that, so that's the reason. That's the only reason, you know, you should never smell it. They're really just, uh, but I mean, you know, nobody's faking. Nobody does wines, that. Wine, no. At least. In the restaurants that we go to. They probably do that somewhere in the world, mm -hmm. but not here. But not in wines that we drink. Not in the wines you know? that we drink. Yeah, again, not your straw basket Chianti at the <laughs> Olive Garden. And I noticed you drink it white, by the way. It's, it's what is bubbly. It? it is. Prosecco. Oh, yeah? Look yeah. at you. How about that? Are you a cougar now? That's great. I don't know what that means. You don't? No, but uh, right, I'm not sounds gonna awesome. it then. Exactly. There you and, go. And guess what? I'm going to leave you with that. We'll see you guys on the next Wine Guys segment. Thanks for hanging out with me here on I Know Jax. Now, speaking of hanging out, check out this baby gorilla and its mom. It was born right here at the Jacksonville Zoo. Aw, isn't that cute? <laughs> I'll be back with another episode next weekend, but until then, you can watch my daily videos online. Every weekday, I upload a new short daily video You'll find them on iknowjacks.com and facebook.com forward slash iknowjacks. I'll see you next time, but before then, I'll see you on the internet.